and on a smaller scale, as a little kid, you always want to be the best. I mean, you want to get the biggest piece of cake. You want to be first in line, and that's fine for a little kid. But as we grow up and out of it, we or we should be growing out of it. If we don't, if we stay in that childlike self-centeredness, that's what brings all these problems into the world. The world. So we've got to be willing to examine ourselves, and it's work to do that. You know, but there's a catalyst that begins it, and that's removing evils from our outer self. That's how we begin the process internally. So this is from Divine Providence 100. Uh, it is, this, is a, this is his chapter title. I said they got long. You can see all this capitalization, because this is a, a... There's like subject headings and then chapter titles. And Anyway, it is a law of divine providence that we should put aside evils in our outer nature, regarding them as sins and doing so in apparent autonomy, and that this is the only way the Lord can put aside evils in our inner nature and in our outer nature alike. So there's the heading, and here's what he says about the reason why we've got to scoot stuff out of the way before things can get going. On the basis of reason alone, everyone can see that the Lord, who is goodness itself and truth itself, cannot enter us unless what is evil and false in us has been banished. What is evil is the opposite of what is good, and what is false is the opposite of what is true, and there is no way that opposites can mingle. No, when one approaches the other, there is a battle that lasts until one gives way to the other. Then the one that gives way moves off, and the other takes its place. There is this kind of opposition between heaven and hell, or between the Lord and the devil. Is it reasonable for anyone to think that the Lord can enter where the devil is in control, or that heaven can be in the same place as hell? With the rationality given to everyone who is sane, can we not see that the devil must be expelled for the Lord to enter, that hell must be banished for heaven to come in. The basic process of removing evils from our outer nature is called repentance.